Welcome to The Rule Dictator. My name is Corlith, your host, and this is how to play The Resistance, Hostile Intent. The Resistance, Hostile Intent features three really interesting new modules for Resistance fans. The Hunter module, the Inquisitor module, and the Reverser module. This game has always been about chaos and uncertainty, and this expansion delivers. Let the madness continue. If you've never played The Resistance, you can click here to watch my video on how to play the base game. The link is also in the description. The Hunter module bears a bit of a similarity to the Assassin module found in the Hidden Agenda expansion. But before you can win, your Hunter must find an enemy chief. The module also operates differently depending on the number of players, though the premise of the module remains the same throughout. After setting up the base game, do the following. Each side will always have a Hunter. Replace a generic Resistance card with the Resistance Hunter. And do the same for the Spy Hunter. The number of Chiefs depends on how many players are in the game. For 5 to 7 players, each side has one Chief. Replace a generic Resistance card with a Resistance Chief. And replace another Spy card with a Spy Chief. For groups of 8 or larger, both sides have 2 Chiefs. Replace two Resistance cards with the Resistance Chiefs, and replace two Spy cards with the Spy Chiefs. The Hunter Loyalty cards are dependent on the number of players as well. When setting up for five or six players, put the Red and Blue Chief and Not a Chief Hunter Loyalty cards near the tableau. When there are seven or more players, use the Resistance Chief, Spy Chief, and Not a Chief Hunter Loyalty cards. The Chief Fail Mission cards are only used for groups of 7 or more players. Have the Chief Fail Mission cards out with the regular Success and Fail Mission cards. Finally, place the Investigator token near the tableau. The Reveal script has these updates to accommodate the presence of the Chiefs. Everyone should have their hands out in a fist before closing their eyes. For the Spies. Spies, open your eyes. Spy Chiefs, stick out your thumbs so that the other spies know that you are a chief. Spy Chiefs, put your thumbs down. Spies, close your eyes. In case there is any confusion, the Spy Chiefs count as spies and open their eyes during the reveal. In games with 8 or more players, the Resistance Chiefs get to know each other as well. Add this to the script after the spies have closed their eyes. Resistance Chiefs, Open your eyes and make eye contact with your fellow Chief. Resistance Chiefs, close your eyes. When the leader is building a mission team, he must give the Investigator token to one of the players that is not nominated to go on the mission. You'll see why shortly. In games with 5 or 6 players, conduct the mission per the normal rules. With 7 or more players, things are a little different. Everyone on the mission receives three mission cards, a success, a fail, and a chief fail. Resistance members must play a success card, and regular spies can play either success or fail as usual. Spy chiefs can choose between success and chief fail. A spy chief may not play a normal fail card. A chief fail card counts as a normal fail with regards to the mission outcome but it gives the Resistance Hunter a clue to the identity of the Spy Chiefs. Now that the mission is over, move on to the investigation. When a mission succeeds, the mission leader investigates a player. But when a mission fails, the holder of the Investigator token does the investigation instead. Here's how it works. The player doing the investigation picks a player to be tested. The selected player gives a Hunter Loyalty card to the player doing the investigation, who secretly looks at it, then hands it back. It is then shuffled back in with the other Hunter Loyalty cards. The card the investigated player hands over depends on the number of players and whether they are a Chief. If you are not a Chief, you always give the Not a Chief card. In 5 or 6 player games, both Chiefs use the Red and Blue Chief card. In games with 7 or more players, a Chief hands over the Chief card that matches his or her faction. When a faction scores its third point, they don't automatically win anymore. 
their hunter reveals himself by flipping over his character card and accuses a player of being an enemy chief. If the accusation is correct, then they win. If the accusation is incorrect, the targeted player denies being an enemy chief and the score token is flipped over to the other side. Then, move on to the next mission. At the end of the fifth mission, accusations go back and forth until an enemy chief is found. A hunter only reveals himself when he makes an accusation. When the hunter makes an accusation, the other players on his side have to be careful about offering advice. If the hunter is wrong, the other side could gain a lot of information about their enemy and use it to win. When a spy chief fails a mission, the spy hunter may immediately reveal himself even if the spies haven't scored three points yet to make an accusation. If he correctly names a resistance chief, the spies immediately win. When the hunter is wrong, the targeted player denies being a resistance chief and the mission score token is flipped over. Then the game moves on to the next mission. In a five or six player game, the spy hunter will know if the chief played a fail since she is the only other spy in the game. In games with seven or more players, a chief fail card must be amongst the outcome cards before the spy hunter may make an early accusation. Only one early accusation may be made per game. The hunter module also comes with more character role cards to add to the level of intrigue. The resistance dummy agent acts like a chief when being investigated, but denies being a chief when accused. In five or six player games, he gives the investigator the red-blue chief card. In games with seven or more players, he uses the resistance chief card instead. I've been the dummy agent. The looks of dismay on the faces of the spies when I deny being a chief was totally worth it. They were so sure. The resistance coordinator is known to the resistance chiefs, which helps them build successful mission teams. When investigated, the coordinator uses the not a chief card. But if accused, the spies win, so having a coordinator adds an element of risk as well. Add or modify the Resistance Chief Reveal script as follows. Resistance Chiefs, open your eyes. Coordinator, stick out your thumb so that the Chiefs know who you are. Coordinator, put your thumb down. Chiefs, close your eyes. Although the Deep Agent does not know the identity of the other spies, they know who he is, unless the Resistance Pretender is also in the game, who reveals herself to the spies at the same time as the Deep Agent. Update the spy reveal like this. Spies, except for the Deep Agent, open your eyes. Deep Agent and Resistance Pretender, stick out your thumbs so that the spies know who you are. Deep Agent and Pretender, put your thumbs down. Spies, close your eyes. Once per game, during team building, but before a vote is taken, the Deep Agent may reveal himself and blame a player stating that she is the Pretender. If the blame is correct, she reveals herself and then the players switch character cards. This is a very strong move for the Resistance, as they now know of a guaranteed ally, whereas the Spies cannot really make a use of the converted Pretender. If the blame player isn't the Pretender, nothing else happens. This is still good for the Resistance as they now know one of the Spies. I can foresee a Deep Spy trying to switch sides when he thinks the Spies are about to lose. I suppose there's no honor among thieves. And that's it for the Hunter module. The Inquisitor module is another method of knowing the loyalty of other players. During the setup, after a leader has been selected, give the Inquisitor token to the player to the leader's right and place the Inquisitor loyalty cards near the tableau. Immediately after the second, third, and fourth mission is resolved, the Inquisitor chooses a player to examine. That player must hand her an Inquisitor loyalty card that matches his affiliation. Once the Inquisitor has seen it, she hands the card back along with the Inquisitor token. The examined player will become the new Inquisitor. The new Inquisitor will examine someone at the end of the next mission, except for anyone who has been an Inquisitor. Anyone who has played the Resistance Avalon will recognize this as the Lady of the Lake mechanic. The Reverser module allows certain players to invert the outcome of missions. When preparing the character cards, 
Replace one Resistance and one Spies card with the Resistance and Spy Reverser cards. Place the Reverser Mission cards near the Tableau with the Success and Fail Mission cards. When conducting a mission, give each player a Reverser card on top of the standard Success and Fail Mission cards. The Reversers may use either a Success or a Reverse Mission card. The Spy Reverser may not use a Fail card. When the mission cards are revealed, and there is a reverse card, the outcome is inverted. So, when all of the other cards are success, the mission becomes a fail. A mission that would fail becomes a success. When both reverse cards are present, they cancel each other out. On the rare occurrence that the only cards are reverse cards, the mission outcome is success. The rest of the game is unchanged. This expansion, like Hidden Agenda, is so much fun and adds a lot to the Resistance. If you're a fan, this just might be for you. To watch my video on the Hidden Agenda expansion, or to the base game, click here or here. I've also included the links to both in the description. Unfortunately, there aren't any more expansions to show you, but if another comes out, I'll get right on it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.